So, determine the domain, co-domain and range of the following function. So, I should start with, I want to start with B first. So, you see here, everything at X here is domain. And everything at Y here is co-domain. And then range, so range is co-domain with object. So we see everything in front here. So for B, domain is equal to J, K, L, M. J, K, L, M. And then for, don't forget the curly bracket. So co-domain, everything at the back here is 2, 3, 6, 7, 10. So range Range is equal to co-domain with object. So here, the one with object is 3 and 7. So A. So A. So domain. Co-domain. And range. So you can see here. The domain is on the x1, which is, you see, negative 2. This one is negative 1. This is 0, so I just write negative 2, negative 1, 0. And this one is 2, this one is 4. 2 and 4. So, the codomain is everything on the y axis. So, related to y, this is 1. This is 3. So, 1, 3. So this is 4 and this is 5. 4, 5. So the range, because this one is, uh, everything is with the object, right? This is the image and object because you see this one is negative 2, negative 2, 1. This is all with coordinate. So the range is equal to codomain, which is 1, 3, 4, and 5. C. So we see here the domain. So we see here the domain is everything on the x here. So you see here the value of x is from negative 3 up to 5. You see here from negative 3 up to 5 because the graph is from negative 3 until 5. So the domain is represented by x. So x is in between negative 3 and 5. And then the codomain, so for the graph, codomain and range is equal. So you see here what is the value on the y-axis. So you can see the minimum value on the y-axis is 2 and the highest point is 6. So we can see that the range fx, because y is equal to fx function, so it is in between 2 and 6.